Okay, so I'm finally in. It's about 10 after 1. I got a ticket to go inside the big pyramid, so I'm going to attempt that. Uh, I'm kind of claustrophobic, and I imagine it's really hot in there right now, but I spent $20 on the ticket, so I'm going to at least attempt it. So, although my channel is called To Go Is To Know, maybe I should change it to To Go Or No. No, thank you. Uh, you know, should you go here or should you not go here? Uh, and I'm not saying not to come to the pyramids. Absolutely come here if you can. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about should I go inside uh, in, the, in the middle of the hottest time of the day with the most tourists uh, and, you know, traffic inside there. So I'm curious what it's like and uh, if it's as bad as they say heat wise we'll see so i've always wanted to stand next to the blocks to get an idea for how big they are and how small i am compared to them Feeling, I'm gonna have some pretty bad sunburn. No, thank you. Alaska By the time I toy. get out of here. Welcome to Alaska. Thank Hello. Hey, man. This ground that's now become slick is very similar to what's up on the Acropolis in Athens. Very similar. Yeah, it almost becomes slippery uh, to a point. So. This is the view up. You can't even tell it's a pyramid from here. But uh, one block is you know, up to my neck or something like that. So these are some pretty big blocks. Just imagine having to move these from. I don't even know where they moved all these from. But uh, this is very amazing. So let me try to go in there. You're not supposed to bring a camera, so I'm going to put this away and see if I could uh, sneak it in. Further up there is, is there to see. Seriously, 
nice little blackout right now. Oh, there you go. Excuse me. Yeah, so that walkway is tight and you got people coming backwards down the stairs. Uh, it is really cramped and really hot. And, uh, I don't know, I see part of the cave, I think that's enough. That's the entrance. And, uh, I went in there and once I started going up that little walkway where people have to come back backwards down the little uh, ramp. There's too many people in there, it's way too crowded and it's too hot and I really don't want to get stuck in there uh, with all these people still coming and going. So uh, I think I've seen enough of the inside of the pyramid. Hey! Dilly video! like a little bit a few blocks up. Hey, hey, Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Where you come from? U.S. American forever. You go America, tell him people come to Egypt. Yes, I will. You want to come here? Yes. Hey, this present from America. No, thank you. I, I don't need it. Hey. Thank you, thank you. Excuse me. How much yes, is that? Just 200 uh, Egyptian pounds. 200? Egyptian money. That's like, uh, five dollar, five dollar. It's like uh, seven dollars. No, five dollars. Give, give me six dollars. Give me six and a half. No, it's okay. Give me Egyptian money. It's okay. Thank you. How much you want? How much you want to give me? How much you want to get? 100? Okay. 150? <laughs> you probably sell them for 50. You're welcome, sir, in a way. Can you show me how to put it on? I will do it. Which color? Uh, the black. No, no, give me your face. Let's see, how do I look? One second. See? I look like Yasser Arafat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. have a nice time. <laughs> You're welcome to Thank you. Thank you. So I'm all set now to uh, get on a camel and uh, take a few pictures. Okay, so that's the first pyramid. Uh, I got my hat. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to walk around to the other ones, take some pictures, and then try to get on a camel for a couple shots. So this thing is so big that when you're standing next to it, you can't even tell you know, that, it's a, that it slopes into a pyramid when you go up. I wonder when the last time anyone climbed all the way to the top of this thing. So I was just in a museum in... Vienna, Austria, and they had a lot of Egypt artifacts, maybe not a lot compared to Cairo, but uh, they had a good amount of stuff, and they had this kind of scale model of the pyramids, and it gave you a really good idea of how everything was, and this from the model, no thank you, from the model that, I, that they had, this is the back of the pyramids and these over here are supposed to be tombs of you know maybe not uh, maybe not kings or rulers but government people maybe military people maybe rich people or something along those lines and that in the front of it was like like a dock with a waterway going to I guess the Nile River <laughs> um, so I'm curious to see if there's any of that still left, right? Is there water in front here or what? I don't know, but um, I didn't know that 
these were so close to water or that there was supposed to be like a kind of little waterway in front of these things leading to the Nile. Well, let's go see what's going on with this second pyramid. Try not get run over by the bus. So I'm gonna go and try to go in the front of it and see what's over there. They should rent bikes up here. <laughs> like some mountain bikes where you can just ride from pyramid to pyramid and uh, pretty easily. Maybe in a little bit, not right now. How much is it? 300 what? Egyptian pounds? Egyptian pounds. Not, not yet. I have to walk around still. Thank you. Pyramid. It's online, the pyramid. Yeah. Not, not right now. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe later. I'm not going anywhere half an hour. <laughs> That's too far. Not right? Not right now. Maybe change your mind? Maybe later. Maybe I'm here. Okay. Okay. So they say that these pyramids used to be smooth. Um, I don't know what the material was that they put on the outside to smoothen it, but that must have been some job with a, a guy with a trowel trying to smooth it down or something, imagine that. But uh, no, all joking aside, if they did that, I wonder where all the all that coating went or what it was. I'm gonna get another camel pitch. No, not right now, thank you. First rock is higher than my head. You see this rock is kind of porous and stuff. Not right now, no. Thank you. I don't see where this water is supposed to be. So one, two, three. I'll post it here and you can see for yourself what they said the layout was like before. So guys, I think that's enough of the pyramid tour for now. So I hope you like this little look at the pyramids and my perspective of what it's like to be actually here after seeing it all that time. Uh, it's it's uh, not what you expected because, again, you can't tell from the pictures what what everything is like around it, how big the scale is. You can't tell just by looking at pictures or whatever. That's why you know my channels to go is to know because you could read and see all the pictures and everything like that, but until you're actually here and standing next to it, uh, you have no real idea of the scale of it or you know what's around it and the walking involved and how big this place really is so i hope this gives people a little bit more perspective of the area thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one